Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and today we are talking about Resto Shamans in The War Within. Now, let me preface this video that I am a hunter main. I am not a healer main. Um, I enjoy dabbling in healing, sometimes for Mythic Plus, not so much raid, um, sometimes in PvP a little bit, but I am nowhere near um, a professional healer in World of Warcraft. So try to keep that in mind when you're watching this video. But today I'm going to talk about why you should consider playing Resto Shaman in the War Within. Also, guys, we are now partnered with Zygor Guides. If you guys don't know about Zygor, they are a guide company. They offer different leveling guides for different expansions uh, through retail, Cataclysm, and Classic as well. So if you guys do decide to do that, go ahead and use my code KATE for 20% off your next purchase. Now, if you are anything like me, I genuinely enjoy seeing big numbers pop up on the screen. Like when I'm uh, doing DPS, I love seeing huge AoE bursting, um, especially on my Marksman Hunter. Uh, I just love seeing the numbers like go, go, go. And with Resto Shaman, I feel like that is a good class to see that big AOE healing. From what I've seen from the changes, it feels like they are focusing heavy on chain heal again, which I happen to prefer. If you're someone like me who plays characters based on how much fun you're having versus whatever the meta is, then this is exactly why you should play Resto Shaman. Obviously, Resto Shamans are super mobile, okay? You've got a ton of movement abilities, which is fantastic. There's nothing worse than feeling like a slow class where you cannot move. So that right there is already a big plus as to why I would pick Shaman. But uh, in a second here, I'm gonna show you guys gameplay from some of the dungeons I did earlier. And you can just see on the screen how much AoE healing there is. Chain heal is practically popped every other second. Whenever you drop a totem, chain heal. Especially if you're taking the totemic uh, build, um, you've got uh, lively totems where you're healing in Tide Totem, Healing Stream Totem, Cloudburst Totem, Mana Tide Totem, and Spirit Link Totem all cast for free. Uh, the instant chain heals at 100% effectiveness when you summon them. Now, this is cool because if you played Resto Shaman in Shadowlands, there was a, uh, I want to say a tier set that did this. However, I don't think chain heal did um, a 100% effectiveness cast when you did it. I'm pretty sure it was like maybe 50%, maybe 25%. I, don't quote me. I honestly don't remember. Um, but that was a big reason why I loved playing Shaman uh, in Shadowlands was because you would drop a totem and you would get a free chain heal. Uh, so that is back, which is something that is huge in my opinion. Uh, these are the talents that I decided to go with. Again, I am nowhere near a professional when it comes to healing. So I chose talents based on the likelihood of me playing those talents and how much fun I would have based off of that. And personally, I just love the surging totem, the healing rain that they place. Uh, that is just super viable in my opinion. Um, I had a lot of fun doing dungeons and I'm going to roll the gameplay so you guys can see for yourself and decide if that's a class you might want to play.
you guys so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments what character you guys are going to main in War Within. And if it's a healer, why is it going to be Resto Shaman? Let me know. All right. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.